Welcome, 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 people, dems. So, this is the final part of the Hunger Games saga. We've watched the first one. We've watched Catching Fire. We've watched Mocking Day Part One, and now this is Mocking Day Part Two. So this is the reason why I'm dressed all in black. I was like, right, okay, for the final one, I've got to like because I'm so I'm so Katniss. Ever D, I'm so in her camp, yeah. Like, she's so sick. Uh, as a kid, and doing all this stuff, yeah, she's so sick. So I was like, right, what can I do to mark the occasion? So I ordered, like, a little bow and arrow set, <laughs> which just didn't come. Um, so I'm making do with a ruler. But this ruler, yeah, it's like, I mean, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. So I feel like I've got my weapon. My weapon of choice, yeah. I'm dressed in what I can only describe as regal black. I've even got a hood with this, do you know what I mean? Like, this is like a, this is like some proper, proper, proper guy. I'm, I'm literally all in black. Like, black jeans, black top, um, some night, I mean, I don't even wear this jacket anymore, but, I mean, it's, it's quite a sick jacket, actually. I probably, should, I probably should start wearing this a little bit more. <laughs> um, so I'm ready. I'm ready to see what's gonna happen, what's gonna go down. Um, the last one that I saw, I think was probably my favorite one. Like, I love them all, obviously. I think they're all, they've all been, like, surprisingly really good. Like, I didn't think I was going to enjoy them this much, if I'm honest. Like, at all. <laughs> um, but they've all been really, really, really good. And I think, like, hearing a lot of the background from a lot of you guys has been really awesome. And um, so that's been really cool. So I'm just really intrigued now to see where, how does this all end? Because the last thing that we saw, there was, um, a, I think, her becoming this beacon of hope for the resistance this was never her goal this was never her intention to become that she just wanted she just wanted to protect her sister and the next thing you know she's embroiled in this absolute all-out war with this with this heathen of a man like this heathen of a man. and then also as well forgot all the tea all the tea that was coming out from um from finnick um, because of all the stuff that happened to him, like, and him, like, just letting all these secrets out because that's his thing, secrets, and finding out that, that Snow basically orchestrated the downfall and demise of all those people ahead of him so he could get ahead politically, and that it came at a cost, which is the reason why basically all of the insides are all just mash up, <laughs> right? And why he's, like, letting himself leak out into wine glasses and stuff. Proper gross. Um, and that they, that he lured... Which, which, I mean, it felt a bit like a trap anyway, to be fair. He lured them in to try and get Peter back with, with us not knowing, I say us, like we are all in this together, with us not knowing that uh, actually he'd broken Peter down and basically got to the point where Peter wanted to destroy Canis. So he kind of feels he's, he's won or he's winning because ultimately the thing that you love the most will be the, the, the thing that basically you're down for. So that's what we kind of left things. And, and he's, I mean, he's like a rabid dog at the moment. Like he is proper broken of the mind. Um, so yeah, I've got no idea how this is going to end, um, but I'm very intrigued. So yeah, let's waste no more time and let's get into this. Like I'm, I'm dressed for the occasion, I'm armed. And I've got my vino over there, so I'm good to go. So, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. But th at the same time, like, I am preparing myself for some losses here. I think you'd be naive to go into any of these things and be like, everyone's going to make it. Everyone's going to make it. Like, the, the, the real world don't work like that. So, I'm, I'm sure that something's going to happen. I just, I just don't think I'm prepared for what or who or, but I know, I know, I know something bad's gonna happen. It, 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 it's, it has to, it has to. So I'm prepared. I'm preparing myself. Okay. The anticipation. <laughs> but literally, I'm probably I'm the kind of stupid person in a horror movie that would be like, what can I take? <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, her neck. Ooh. You forget how hard he was pressing on her neck, man. Okay, take your time. Wow. I want, I want to talk to him. I don't even recognize her. We're gonna test his response on someone he remembers from home. Hmm. He might that be? 
Send her in. Her sister? My family. The bakery didn't survive. Uh... Oh, he's now thinking about Katniss. Katniss. You need to get up. She's a liar, Prim. It's a trick. She said you're here to talk to me. Oh, dear. You're now. Okay. No, you're... You can't trust her! She's a monster! She's a mud! The capital green to destroy us! Wow. Oh, it's not him. I can't believe that made me joke so much. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> that's gonna be hard to take. Whether you know it's him or not, like that's difficult to watch and listen to. To see anyone that you cared about broken that much. I'm glad you're feeling better. He did a number on her throat though. I didn't realize it was as bad as that. Snow has to pay for what he's done. Send me to the capital. I'll do anything. I can't. You want me to fire up our troops? You've seen what I can do. But you are a very valuable, I don't want to use the word asset, but but you would want revenge, you would, or at least accountability. Yeah, what's that? Uh... Saw Peter. I don't stand a chance if he doesn't get better. Wow. This is so complicated. I don't know what I'm rooting for. I don't know who I'm rooting for. He's such a good man, what's but... What's going on in your head? Yeah? What's going on in your head? I don't know. It could literally be anything. Just make herself feel better. Could feel that she should. Because she wants to. Like... You scare people so they flee in this direction to what they think is a safe haven. You allow people enough time to rush in and help the wounded then. A second bomb. Right. I guess there are no rules anymore about what a person can do to another person. I don't think Snow used any rule book when he hijacked Peter. Ooh. Because I was about to be like, man, you can't just now just be as bad as them, but then... Welcome mm. to District 2. I'm Corporal Hall. Don't worry. Tell the loyalists say good morning. As you can see, the fortress lies so far beneath the bedrock, it's untouchable. Yesterday, we attempted to take the northeastern gate. The enemy counted from higher up, and we were forced to pull back. Lady Brienne of Toth? We need to control the arsenal inside that fortress. Which is why I won't condone a mass suicide. If we don't take District 2, we won't get into the capital. Would it be enough to disable the fortress instead of taking it? We've got two choices. You trap the wolves inside, or you flush them out block all exits, cut off their supplies. You make it impossible. Yeah. There's civilians in there. We should be given the chance to surrender. It's really surreal. I think people watching this. It's the difference, Candace. Crushing the enemy in a mine or blowing them out of the sky with one of BD's arrows, it's the same thing. We were under attack in District 8. And that hovercraft wasn't filled with civilians. It doesn't matter. She makes a good point about that fine line for the... Figured if anyone knew that it was you. I, of all people, know that it's always personal. Yeah. Why would you think that she would think that? Ugh. It's difficult. It's really, really difficult. But you can't just forgo people. Now, Plutarch wrote a speech I'm not saying you. that. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. This is Katniss Everdeen, speaking to all of the loyalists from the heart of District Two. Survivors inbound. Definitely need to get off the, off the train tracks. Drop it. Drop oh. it, man. Oh. Drop it. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. Stop. It's hell. Hold your fire. Oh no. Drop it. Give me one reason I shouldn't shoot you. Drop the gun. Because she came to help you? I can't. We blew up your mine. You burned my district to the ground. We each have every reason to want to kill each other. It just goes around and, and around. around. And who wins? Always snow. District 12, District 2. We have no fight. Except the one the capital gave us. She's such a dun. 
She's such a dun. We all have one enemy, and that's Snow. Stop killing for him. Turn your weapons to Snow. Turn your weapons to Snow. Dude. Are they going to toast that? A toast. Oh, I hate this man. I hate this man. What did we celebrate? The death of the Mockingjay, sir. That can't be real. That can't be the end of her. Refuse to believe that was a lethal shot. That's the same facile thinking that led you to divert our best peacekeepers into District 2. The rebels can be held off. You better shut your mouth. Teabag. Lure them into the city, and then our game makers will make them pay for every inch with blood. So, we toasted a glorious era coming to its bitter end. Oh. Oh, she gosh. Mm. She's not. Like I'm getting some nervous energy off her right now. Send us out to that. Of course, your costume would be bulletproof. Ah. I'm surprised they haven't found you a new lung. I mean, I've got two. Do you want one of mine? She seems very bitter. I mean, it's everybody's job to keep you alive. Okay, this is why she's bitter. The whole tacky romance drama and the defender of the hopeless act. Even though it's not an act, which makes it even more unbearable. Friends-ish before, weren't they? They messed us up pretty good, didn't they? Doesn't matter what you want, it's for Peter. What's the harm in trying? <laughs> I mean, that response to, his, to her sister was enough for me to be like, I don't think he's ready to see me, but okay. Not the friendliest of looks. You look terrible. You've looked better. You're not even remotely nice to say that to me now. I was never the nice one. You were. You in the rain. And I remember my mother hitting me. I was supposed to give it to the pig. That was the first of you eaten in days. I would have saved myself a lot of suffering if I had just given that bread to the pig. <sighs> he doesn't mean it, Katniss. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I need to be in the capital. No, you have done your job. You've been very successful as the Mockingjay. You've unified the districts. I mean, she has to kind of be a little bit compliant. But I don't think she's going to do that. I think you're there. Oh! Thank you. I need Cresta as my wife from this day forth. I was so happy for them. And to think I didn't like him to begin with. There she is. Lord of Fabulousness. Hey! This is nice to have a little bit of light amongst the dark, man. I'm going to kill Snow. Nothing good is safe while he's alive. Wow. Wow. Anybody can kill anybody, Katniss, even a president. You just have to be willing to sacrifice yourself. Yeah, I can't tell whether she's really like, oh, I'm backing you, or just wanting to kind of send her off to... Hmm. Wow. There's just no joy in anything, is there? Because there's always this realisation of what the hell's going on. I mean, that, that was pretty... Easy? <laughs> like, that general captain lady is going to be fuming. They literally didn't even make it 50 yards. I'll get it right. <laughs> it was our plan all along. Of course it was. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. We want to know whatever game she's playing. She's playing it for us. It's for the people. Like, why you can sit like you should just be happy about the fact that 
that she's corralling people. For the first time in our lifetimes, we're standing together with 13 districts. From what I see here, we've already made history. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Targeting them. To slow our advance, President Snow is building a minefield of traps and lethal devices called pods will converge in the center of the city at Snow's Mansion where we won't just unlock his gates, but unshackle all of Pan Am. Sounds like a very tall order, and I'm intrigued to find out what these pods are about. Let it be for a cause and not a spectacle. If we succeed, let it be for all of Pan Am and let it be forever. Yes, you've already made history. But the future, our future starts tomorrow at dawn. She can, she's got poise, man. Like... I'm about ready to march myself. Oof. Don't lie to me. We've been hunting together all our lives. I know when you're gonna go off on your own. Come meet your new unit. I'm Lieutenant Jackson. This is Second Lieutenant Mitchell. These are the okay. lead sisters. And this is Corporal Holmes. Finnick? Are you with us? Looks like it. Hmm. It's a short honeymoon. You're my unit. Lieutenant Jackson is my second in command. But we are a non-combat unit. It's been decided that you're most effective when seen by the masses. You're considered high-value targets to the capital. In the event of capture, you'll be given a nightlock pill. Our unit has been given a hollow, a database that contains a detailed map of the capital and a list of every known pod. We cannot move without this device. <laughs> this got very serious. Come through the 76 Hunger Games. Like, uh, yeah. This is even more intense because, like, uh, this is literally against capital. Like, all of their might. When you're ready, Katniss. Hold it. Pollock's tighter. Um, is that the pod that did. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whose decision was it to bring Peter out? Okay, stop. Hold up. Jackson Coffin. Part of his recovery to come back to like his home area, or well, not in the home area. What what is he doing there? They want us to add him to the proper. Show that he's on our side now. Mm, he couldn't have done that from inside. Really came yeah. down to it. You think you could shoot him? I wouldn't be shooting Peter. Be killing a capital nut. I'm not sure that kind of a comment recommends you for the job either, soldier. I don't know how I feel about it either. There's definitely some heightened emotions there. You couldn't relax with him around though, could you? He's gonna try to kill me. Yeah, I think Especially he might. Especially going on, it's gonna set him off. It was Peter that she wanted rescued from the arena. She never liked you. She doesn't like anybody or anything she can't control. Right. So she would put my life in danger? She denied doesn't need you as a rallying cry anymore. These problems can be done without you. There's only one thing you could do now to add more fire to this rebellion. Die. Wow. Wow. Are you joking? I was really writing that general coin as well. I thought she was like proper decent. I just can't tell what's real and what's made up anymore. Then ask. Mm -hmm. It's what Annie does. Your favorite color is green. <laughs> is that real? Yeah. Yours is orange. Not bright orange. Soft, like the sunset. Wow. Well, it's only for the problem. I mean, you wouldn't want to give him any live ammunition, would you? Like... Even giving him something as a weapon, empty or not. But, okay. If it's part of his rehabilitation... You will be a vital part of the democracy that follows our victory. Be a vital part of the democracy that follows our victory. I don't know, man. For, like, what Snow did to be that ingrained into Peter, I can't imagine that, like, this would be enough to kind of get him to recount all of that here. I don't know. Maybe I'm being naive. Or cynical. It's mocking Jason, boy. Stay back. 
And that's just one pod. If they didn't have that halo, there is absolutely no way they could make it through this. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. Oh, no, no, no. Transfer primary to security clearance. Say your name. Katniss Everdeen. Bro! Oh, what does that mean? Get up and get going. Oh! What is that? Oh! Oh! Of course! What? Dude, what the hell is that? Oh, uh, this is absolutely insane. Bugs? Like... Game makers are still putting on quite a show. I keep forgetting they've got game makers that have... Everdeen, give me the hollow. Bugs gave it to me. And why would he do that? Well... I'm on special yeah. orders from COIN. As your new unit commander, I order you to transfer security clearance to me now. Well... I can't do that. And that's you tell her again. Uh, Let's not lose our heads here. She's telling the truth. Right -a. Right -a. All right, soldier. All those yours. Can we trust her? Can we though? Or is this like a temporary thing? So when you're not looking. I don't know what that stuff was. I'm sorry. I'll stay with her. But with those peacekeepers on the way there. Alright everybody, move out. Let's get him out. Oh, Peter being there is such a just... A... And I love Peter, but... Bro... Oh, I don't even know what's going on right now. Bug said don't trust them. Don't trust them. Who's the them? Is he still talking about the general coin? Ooh. I feel really sorry for the sisters. Where is this? Oh wow, they're already there. They've got no chance. They've got literally no chance. Um, they don't give a crap. Mandatory viewing. Good afternoon, I'm Caesar Fleckerman. Here with our continuing coverage of the defense of the capital. As if he's still, like, doing this for them. Katniss Everdeen, our once favorite daughter, has infiltrated the city with some of the victors, Finnick O'Dare and Peter Malark. Hmm. Clearly, some alliances don't last forever. Oh, that's the bit they found. Oh, the misinformation. Seems to have met a violent end. With your weird ass eyebrows. Isn't it obvious? The next move is to kill me. I'm not in control. I need a nightlock pill. If it gets to that point, I'll kill you myself. But this is stupid because... When they're still running around... And caught on camera... A poor, unstable girl with nothing but a small talent with a bow and arrow. Is dead. Small talent. Bigger than talent of poison. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, please allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am President Al McCoy, leader of the rebellion. A face picked from the masses, he called her. As if a leader, a true leader, could be anything else. Dead or alive, Katniss Everdeen will remain the face of this revolution. I had no idea I meant so much to her. Hmm. Hmm. Hit that button. Scan for pods. 
just about every 10 steps. Oh, underground. Hey. Always nervous. Hey. You're gonna be okay. Look at me. Look at me. We're gonna get through this. Um, they're not gonna get through this, is what everyone says when they don't get through stuff. Also, like, cameras? Are there no cameras down here? If there's trains down here. Should I call for your doctor? Mm. We picked them up on a surveillance cam. Oh, uh, look. He looks terrible. Looks clear. But looks can be deceiving. I cannot cope with this. <laughs> I'm feeling claustrophobic. It's like you don't know where that's leading to. What's down there? What's in the water? Ugh. Protect me, sweet, sweet Peter. Make him all Darth Vadery. Ugh. You're still trying to protect me. Real or not real. Real. Always. Oh, this. I don't know. I just don't know how it resolves itself. Like, whichever way it's going to be said, then it's all options are taken off the table. Which again is also sad. Doesn't, there's no happy ending to this. Well, that doesn't sound good. What is that? We gotta go. We gotta get out of here now. It's it's months. They released months. Much those things that we saw in the first one. And also in the second one. But they couldn't, they couldn't talk, could they? It's giving Basilisk vibes right now. Oh dear. Mm. Temporary moment of relief. <laughs> He's not let anything happen to her. What the? I have no way. I have no way. You are a bad man, Gail. You are a bad man. I don't know how she survived that. As long as Finnick also gets out, though. Oh, wow. Too many. Too many. Oh my gosh. Do they all make it? Look at me. Stay with me. Five. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. So much just happened. And he's been bitten, so what does that mean? He's not going to turn into one of those things, is he? Please be Effie. Is it Effie? No, Katniss, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. I know you. You were a stylist in the games. I don't remember that person. We just got married. Poor Fennec, man. What a horrible way to go. Those things. Oh, like a cross between like a Dementor 
and one of them alien face sort of thingies and like just oh it's awful absolutely awful was it his brother that didn't make it I told you when people say that kind of stuff in the ah Oh. I made it up. All of it. There is no special mission from Coin. There's only my plan. You are going to tell them that now? Everyone that's dead is dead because of me. I, I lied. We know. We all knew. Oh, thank God. Do you really believe that Jackson thought you had orders from Coin? She trusted Boggs and he clearly wanted you to go on. Our lives belong to Snow and our deaths do too. But if you That's kill him, Katniss, if you end all of this, all those deaths, they mean something. Senna, Boggs, Castor, Jackson, Finnick. They chose this. They chose you. That's all goose bumps, man. Don't know how long those, those lucid moments will last. I doubt all three of us are going to make it out of this. And if we do, then it's her problem we to choose, right? I do know that Katniss will pick whoever she can survive without. Interesting analysis. To all capital citizens more Ugh. than a half mile outside the city circle, I am announcing a mandatory evacuation. They are not coming to liberate us. They are coming to destroy our way of life. Oh, he's just the worst. He's gonna be waiting. Next to he said until his dying before. breath, though. Snow's offering shelter to all the refugees. So if she does anything to him, I reckon it's going to trigger something that's going to do something to the rest of the... Head straight north. Mm, I don't know, I don't trust him. Just get... Literally. Just make it count. Tigress is giving, like... Okay, headdress. Stay alive. I thought for a second... <sighs> Thank goodness for that. I thought he was going to have another moment. He's definitely got a plan. He did this before by letting them in, like... It's never gonna be as easy as, like, I'm gonna let you literally walk into my mansion. Oh. She's gonna keep it cool. She's... Mm, keep it cool, little lady. Oh, shit. La la. <laughs> oh. Some amazing timing. This. Can you? Shoot can't. She's not gonna shoot you, bro. Maybe this is when she realizes that she can't survive without him. And it all goes full circle. The children will be received first. The gates will open momentarily. Aircraft approaching. I'm telling you, something does not feel right here. Is it food? I knew. 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 Why would he do that? Kids. Fight was over after the capital dropped those bombs to defend the palace. Everybody felt it. Peacekeepers, palace guards. They had kids in there too. Mom. <sighs> I'm just so... <sighs> like, I don't even understand then because if... What Hamish is saying that the fight was done, palace guards, peacekeepers, everybody was like done. Then hasn't he just alienated anyone that was on his side as well as committing such an atrocity? Like, it's just so incredibly sad. Ah. Okay, come on. 
Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you pass. Let her in. On my authority. She has a right to anything behind that door. And you were right here. Not a greenery in here. Like flourishing. Oh, again. They're in his area, aren't they? So of course, all the white roses. Right. But nothing says perfection like white. Says who? First things first. <coughs> I wanted to tell you how very sorry I am about your sister. So wasteful. So unnecessary. You released those parachutes. You really think I gave the order? We both know I'm not above killing children. But I'm not wasteful. Masterful move on Coyne's part. The idea that I was bombing our own helpless children to hold back the rebels, it turned the last of my guards against me. Wow. I'm sure she wasn't gunning for your sister, but these things happen in war. I'm afraid we've both been played for fools. That's how hungry for power coin is. President Coin has for you. Oh, has she? You came to see me. Was it ours? The bomb? The delayed explosion? Oh, don't tell me he knew about it. The trap. To draw more people in. Oh my god, he even spoke about it before. Is that you? Ew, no. All I know is. No, I was supposed to take care of your family. No, I'm sorry, I couldn't. You can't protect anyone in an arena. Goodbye, Gail. Victors, won't you join us? I just had a haircut. Found time for a little snip snip, yeah? New area, new year, new me. I have taken me burden. And the honor of declaring myself interim president of Penang. I have you. Interim? Exactly how long is that? Mm -hmm. We have no way of knowing for certain. In lieu of these barbaric executions, we hold a symbolic Hunger Games. You want to have another Hunger Games with the capital's children? You're joking. Not in the slightest. No, obviously not. This is crazy. Yeah. No, I think it's more than fair. Snow's got a granddaughter. I say yes. So do I. Let them have a taste of it. We need to stop viewing each other as enemies. Yeah, and humans, like... Then I vote yes. What? For Prim. You're not thinking straight. Come on. We're better than this. I'm with the mocking jay. That carries the vote. I, 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 I'm shocked. Oh, you look I, lovely as ever. Again, she looks amazing, Mike, but what do both do? I believe she voted for yes. Oh, so she's not looking to survive. Oh. This feels epic already, like. And she changed her eyes as well, like. Her eyes weren't that colour before, were they? Ooh. May your aim be as true as your heart is pure. What I feel like she's gonna aim at coin. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I don't feel bad for her. She was a pretty terrible human. What does this now mean for Katniss? And I wonder why she's going to take the Night Quill for that. Because she didn't want to face, I don't know. 
But who's locked her up on the orders of who if there's no interim president anymore? I'll say this for you, Candace. <laughs> you don't disappoint. Well, Plutarch gave me a letter for you. I don't want it. Katniss, maybe the country was shocked tonight by your arrow, but once again, I was not. You were exactly who I believed you were. Tonight, the 12 district leaders will call for a free election. There's little doubt that Palo would carry it. She's become the voice of reason. Mm. I'm sorry so much burden fell on you. I know you'll never escape it. But if I had to put you through it again for this outcome, I would. The war's over. We'll enter that sweet period where everyone agrees not to repeat the recent horrors. We're fickle, stupid beings with poor memories and a great gift for self-destruction. I've secured you a ride out of the capital. It's better for you to be out of sight. And when the time is right, Commander Paler will pardon you. Home. We go home. Which is where again? Because there's no 12. Let you go without a proper goodbye. We didn't see much of her in this film, but every time she's on the screen, though, she looks amazing. Goodbye, Lee. Goodbye, that girl. Oh. If you don't be a stranger. Take care of her. I'd wonder if those two were ever more than just comrades in arms. Aww. She really loved them, didn't she? Gosh. Everything she's been through. Everything they've both been through. As if that cat managed to find its way back to that house. Get out! Prim is gone! Prim is gone! She's dead! And she's not coming back! Get out! Get out! Oh. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Like, Peter, I found these uh, over by the edge of the forest. It's a primrose. So sorry, You'll be happy to hear that Candace's mother has been training new medical units in the capital. Gail has been promoted to a captain in District 2 to help keep order and security. And I am loving every moment with my son. Annie. Annie. Ah, it's Annie. So she had a son for Fennec. 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 No. You love me. Mm. You are not real. Real. Hmm. I guess we got our answer. Ah, <laughs> oh, the women don't have babies. Someday I'll explain it to you. I make a list in my head of all the good things I've seen someone do. There are much worse games to play. Hmm. Ah. Well, there was so much in that. I don't even know where to even begin with that. Like, that has got to be, genuinely, for something that I didn't think I was going to enjoy, has got to be one of, like, the best kind of, like, series of films that I've seen. Like, because sometimes when you watch things that, you know, the sequels and stuff, the ones that come after, they're just not as good. Like, they, you, you're not as engaged, you're not really interested, everything seems a bit poorer, like, um, you know, it just doesn't seem like the quality is, is as high. But for me, the stakes were, I, I almost feel like everything was even more heightened than this, and I didn't think it would be. Like, there were so many moments in that that my mouth hit the floor. Um, I, 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 like so, so okay so first things first the fact that 
Katniss actually made it through, like, and actually survived to the end to, uh, to have, like, a life with Peter. That, to me, is insane, like, because I didn't think... I didn't think they would make a decision as to who or where. So the fact that like all of that happened um, and, and in terms of like the, the bombing and, and happened to Prim um, and that Gail, I mean, I'm still not 100% certain that Gail really did know about it all. I'm not, I'm not 100% certain. Like he, he obviously had a plan and he mentioned that plan in the beginning. So I would be surprised if he didn't know anything at all. But the fact that he was like, oh, you know, I was meant to protect your family and, and, I, and I couldn't, and I'm really sorry about that. I'm not, so then did he make the decision that he just was, was going to go along with the orders? Like, because there were, there were no rules when it comes to war. Um, because I think before that point, I think it really would have been a case of, like, I don't know what she's going to do, who she's going to pick. You know, and I, and I did say that wh whatever happened is going to be sad. This is probably the only outcome that I didn't, I didn't like foresee. And naturally, you can't really feel sad about that because you wouldn't, there's no way that's the one that you cared about. I mean, well, okay, maybe even if you didn't know that the, that it was going to directly impact, um, impact Katniss, the fact still remains that you were willing to sacrifice innocent people for the virtue of freedom and I, and I, and I, and I get that like when it comes to these kind of situations again being quite a naive person who have had to literally fight like fisticuffs and whatever for freedom that I can only speak from a very like privileged position of that but you know like there are people well, I'm sure within my ancestry that had to do that and I, and I don't know whether I don't know whether innocent people will ever be the bargaining chip when it comes to having freedom. I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. So maybe for her, whether it was Prim, whether it was anyone else, she would have been like, I don't know whether I'm seeing the person that I want to be with. Because even through Peter's like absolute psychological, almost lobotomy that they put him through, like he still was able to shine the light for innocent people as well even within that so i think that was quite telling so so the fact that she made it to the end and got a happy ever after a game that she is happy to play um in terms of like keeping the nightmares away rate it i rate that and i rate the fact that they were able to come to a decision because it's nice to have an ending to a story um i think by the time that they mentioned i mean I'm, i was still quite shocked about um bugs is it bugs um, Maharshala Ali, like the fact that he end, like he left the the movie so early on, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I still need to go back and understand as to whether or not it was Peter that actually caused his downfall, or was there something that he just didn't see? Was was the hollow um, thing? Was it was it was it was it was it prime to kind of give him false information so it would get rid of him, um, or actually thinking of it, the fact that that, that she sent Peter there. Was that always going to be the case that she wanted to she she wanted some she she wanted to portray an image of the capital stopping at nothing to rid themselves of Katniss and her peers, which might have meant the the annihilation of some of her own men. Like, is that what happened? Um, but yeah, the minute that he mentioned that she shouldn't be trusted, um, and the fact that she would have sent Peter there, um, to almost martyr her. Um, and, and and you kind of got a sense from this one more so than the last one because I knew that she had those, that kind of friction with her from the beginning but I think by the I just thought that was like a, like a personality thing I didn't think it was a genuine like oh I'm vying for power here um, and the fact that like she was quite willing to be like yeah she's going to stay there and actually whether she whatever happens to her happens to her like that she she's not thinking she wasn't thinking of Katniss as a person she was thinking of what she how valuable she could use her towards her end goal um, so I think that became a lot more apparent as the time went on, but I wouldn't have expected her to be the reason as to why those kids had those things dropped on them. Um, and again, it, 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 I said it pretty much in every single movie that I've watched of this series. It is really, and I'm sure there could have been other instances in history that this could pertain to because it's war. But I think like it's just really surreal to watch things like this in fiction and not be, not make the correlation to things happening right now. And I think 
you know, it raises so many like important questions just about morals and like what do we do when our back's against the wall and actually when, you know, I've got a, 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 a grievance to bear and you've got a grievance to bear so we just keep enacting our grievances on each other and actually the people that suffer is everybody else. It just really, really, it just speaks huge volumes and you know I'm sure whoever's watching this is intelligent enough for me to, for them to you know reach those conclusions that me having to spell that out um I just think this is such an intelligent movie it's such I'm also really impressed with Jennifer Lawrence I as I say like I've seen her in some stuff before mainly really X-Men but I think her acting in this has been so top tier like I'm used to seeing like so Vi Viola Davis is one of my favorite act uh, actors and I'm so used to seeing her doing that, that, that the, the cry acting, you know, you know, the cry snut acting with the, with the dribble and the snut. Like, so, you know, you know she's acting her chops off when all that starts to come. And, like, when all that happened with Prim, like, I found it really difficult to keep it together because it was just so, like, raw. And I feel like her acting throughout this has been so, like, compelling. Like, really, really top, top tier. And I, and I, I wouldn't have expected that from this kind of film. I don't know why I thought it was you know, as, as, as kind of minor as I thought, but like, wow, 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 wow. Really impressed with that. Um, didn't really see much of Effie, um, which I'm surprised by. Um, neither really Hamish really, didn't really see much of them, but I guess there were never really like the pivotal, pivotal parts of the, of the movies anyway. Um, but I think I just like Effie's character so much, I would have liked to have seen her more. But, you know, every time she did stuff on the, on the stage, she, you know, she looked flat. <laughs> she looked really good. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, and obviously Snow. So I think... Uh, I, I think they really turned up the, the flames when it came to them basically having the Hunger Games in the capital um, and how those games... Like, I'm, I still don't quite understand what that black tar stuff was about. I'm really baffled about that because... I was like, well, is it because when you touch it, then the spikes come for you? Or is it because you touch it, it launches you out of the air and then the spikes... I just, I just didn't know how that came about, but it, that was brutal. Really, really brutal. Um, and the fact that they had these pods that... Because that, I'm like, how would they ever have traversed that landscape without that hollow? There's no way. There's literally no way. Um, so, yeah, I think they turned that up. When they went down to the bottom, the, the actual um, like subterranean levels... Those things, I mean, I think I probably jumped more in this film than I did perhaps like across the entire other three that I've watched. Like, there were so many moments that I was just like, what is happening? Poor Finnick. That nearly brought me to tears. I think the fact that like I didn't like him initially, I think that's probably what upset me the most because I didn't rate him um, and I thought he was smarmy. Um, and then actually, it turns out that he was like almost like a surrogate son for Mags. Um, and did the most for her until she sacrificed herself. Um, did the most for Katniss whilst in that game as well. And then came back again to kind of save everybody before them being lynched down by those absolute, like they, they made those things. I don't know if those were the mutts that they were talking about, like, but they were horrible, absolutely horrible. And there were so many of them. <sighs> so yeah, that was really, really sad to, to see that happen. Um, I guess I'm happy to kind of see that there's a new Panem with an elected president and someone who looks to, like I said, like when she was speaking, she had poise, she had conviction, she seemed like she had morals. And But, but prior to that, though, I thought General Coyne also had some morals too. And the fact that she'd, she'd been through what she'd been through, I thought that, but then maybe that's the reason that it kind of, it turned her. Maybe because she was so racked with, with, with grief and revenge for what she'd lost, that she, she lost her way, maybe. I don't know. But, you know, she could, you, you can't justify, you can't justify one set of people having peace by inflicting atrocities on another. Like, you, you just can't. So she could never have been president of Panem. But yeah, in terms of Snow, I think it's always a little bit fitting when somebody who's a villain like that has the comeuppance from the people. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I'm not even going to enact this for you. Like, let the people cast their judgment, do you know what I mean? And I think in that kind of way, um, you know, he may not have dropped those bombs on those children, but, you know, he did a lot of other stuff. And there's a lot of other children who, you know, are no longer there because of him. So, you know, he doesn't get a pass. He doesn't get a pass. I, I, and I think when they were having that meeting about, like, oh, like, 
you know, let's have another Hunger Games. I now understand as to why. I thought for a second, I was like, Katniss has lost it, but she was fine. She was securing her access to get to him, or at least to get to her, because I think she realised at that point that like you are unhinged and you got you got to, you got to go. And the fact that Plutarch knew that like or almost that he backed her enough that her moral compass was strong enough that she would do what was necessary i think is amazing like that he had that thought because that could have gone any which way um but yeah i i really disliked snow without this like it was it, it was palpable every time he spoke um i just I, i'm i'm just so impressed with these movies like there's there's probably going to be so much more that like i will think about when as as a movie fin uh, as the time goes by but for now like i just i'm just so impressed with how good they were um Obviously, if you're on Patreon, like, you know, one of the things I was doing throughout this was that every time that Katniss was a badass or said something badass, like, I took a shot of rum. And honestly, I'm now tipsy and emotional. <laughs> tipsy and emotional. I definitely need to go for, like, one of the other things next time. Like, oh, every time that the cat makes an appearance, that would have been fine. One shot, cool. <laughs> um, but now, nah, genuinely amazing amazing movie i'm so glad that you guys like selected this and i'm so glad i finally got to watch it um and i'm also really glad that like that it, it for me critically i think this is a really good movie like not just in terms of oh there's great sound effects that uh, special effects and stuff but actually in terms of a well thought out movie that has got like really good kind of twists turns um, and gives a real insight to, like, again, an insight that you just cannot run away from when it comes to where's your moral compass when it comes to things like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a, a very intelligent movie, um, and I'm really, really glad I saw it. So, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys thought of this one. For me, out of the th four of them, how would I rank them? How would I rank them? I think... I think I would go... Ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I think this one mm, it's really hard. Okay, I think I would go. I think the first one to me has to be number one. Like I know I said the in the last one, I think the third one was my favourite one, but I think like in terms of setting the scene and oh I don't know actually, I don't know, I don't know. Because three was definitely darker. And definitely, you, you you felt that the stakes were being instantly risen with what happened to Peter at the end. Um, so I reckon I'd go three, three, four, one, two. Because I think the third one still kind of picks it for me. I don't know what it is. I think... <sighs> It, it's it's really close between the, between the third and the fourth in terms of what I think is the best. I know that most that's probably not what other people think, but I think I just like that. Bearing in mind that the Hunger Games were always you know within this dome, within this 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 field of 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 having it and not having it in this cycle. But I think there was by this point, I'm far more emotionally connected to the to the characters. Like there's a lot of depth in terms of like what they're thought processes are and how that like enacts how that how that comes about on screen um and i think both of them did that really well like really 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 well so I, I, for me this mockingjay series and uh, what she stood for what she wouldn't stand for bringing an end to it um i think i'd have to put the, the, the third set of movies at the top i think and then i think i'd put the first one um and then the second I think that's where I put them, I think. But I'd love to know what you guys thought. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy this uh, film series with me, I, first off, thanks for watching with me. I really appreciate it, especially as these are, like, 10 years old. Um, and, uh, yeah, I do have a... Oh, if you would drop me a like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. And I do have a YouTube membership as well as a Patreon. So you can get full reactions and watch along with me on Patreon which I'm going to have to edit quite a lot out of, out of this one, I think. Um, but yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So definitely looking forward to the next one. Let me know what my next film series should be. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>